What's up everyone, I'm Glasscock. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you all what I think is the cheapest budget gaming router that you can buy. This is the Netgear N600 and it cost me just $50 on amazon.com. You can check it out for yourself in the description box below. But today we're gonna to be taking a look and seeing what kind of features and performance that we can expect for just $50. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, as most of you all may know, I have a Netgear Nighthawk R7000 router that I use on a daily basis. And that router will set you back around almost $200, just depending on where you get it. And it's an amazing performing router with great capabilities, and it's designed for gaming, streaming, and multimedia applications. But not everyone is going to wanna to spend $200 on a Nighthawk router. So today I'm going to be showing you all how you can get pretty much the exact same software features as the Nighthawk, but for just one third of the price. So today we will be unboxing as well as reviewing the Netgear N600. Now this router is a dual band wireless router that advertises wireless capability of up to 300 megabits per second. It has a 530 megahertz processor with eight megabytes of flash, as well as 64 megabytes of RAM. The N600 is equipped with B, G, and N radio frequencies, but it does not have wireless AC capability. The N600 also has four fast ethernet ports and USB 2.0, but it does not have gigabit ethernet ports or USB 3.0 capability. Now for about $10 more, you can purchase the N750, which is the upgrade to the N600, but unless your internet speeds are above 100 megabits per second, or you're wanting gigabit transfer speeds over LAN, it's probably not worth the extra money. This is, after all, supposed to be a review of the cheapest budget gaming router, and if I chose to review the N750 instead, it would not be the cheapest. Once opening the box of the Netgear N600, you will see the quick start user manual for getting the router set up. You will also see the router itself with a plastic stand, along with the AC adapter for getting power to the router, as well as an ethernet patch cable for plugging in one device. Now the N600 design is completely plastic and it feels pretty cheap. I was a little bit disappointed that the blue cover on the front of the router did not light up blue like it does appear to in the photos of the advertisements, but that's pretty much expected when you're paying less than $50. Setting up the router itself was very easy, just like any other Netgear product that I've owned. All I had to do was pretty much plug the router into my gateway for my internet provider, then plug an ethernet cable into my PC from the router, and then from there, I was able to type in the router's IP address, and that's pretty much it. It took me through the setup process, and it was very simple. I had the router up and running in about two minutes or so, and it was pretty straightforward, and there were no hoops or crazy things that I had to jump through. You can also download the Netgear Genie app. It is compatible with the Netgear N600, and it's handy if you ever want to try to manage your router from your smartphone device. So I think that the main reason that I think that the Netgear N600 is such a great value for the price that you pay and one of if not the best budget gaming routers that you can buy is due to the fact that the router itself is essentially a stripped down version of a Netgear Nighthawk router which costs upwards of three times more. And while you won't get the superior hardware capabilities of the Netgear Nighthawk, the N600 provides the exact same firmware features for gaming that the Nighthawk has. For instance, the QoS feature on the N600 is literally copy and paste from a Netgear Nighthawk router. It works just as well in exactly the same. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of Netgear's QoS feature, and I think it works better than just about any other QoS service that I've used in the past with other routers. And of course, being that the firmware is almost the exact same as the Netgear Nighthawk, you also get UPnP support port forwarding, DMZ, as well as IPv6. So pretty much everything that you need for gaming on PS4, Xbox, or PC. Now the reason I would choose the N600 over something like a budget TP-Link router is simply due to the fact that the firmware capabilities are better. Now while similar priced TP-Links will give you better hardware performance, you will not get the superior firmware features of the Netgear with a TP-Link. With the N600, you get much better bang for your buck due to the features that it has to offer with the firmware. So here's the thing that some of the more tech savvy people that are watching this video could argue with me that if you're only buying the router for the firmware, why not just opt for a TP-Link router that's similarly priced that will have more superior hardware and then go on and flash a third party firmware such as a DDWRT, a Tomato USB, or an OpenWRT. 
And that's a fair argument, but here's the thing. The problem with that is that there are a lot of people out there who would rather just have something that works perfect right out of the box and not have to go to the trouble of finding third-party firmwares for their router. Also, I think that with recent advancement in development with factory firmware, I think that third-party firmware is not as useful as it once was in the past and sometimes can create more problems that it solves, such as stability issues and lack of available support from the developers. So let's talk about my biggest gripe with this router. The major downfall of this router is, of course, the hardware capability. With the N600, I was only able to get internet speeds of around 100 megabits per second when testing over wired. And it was about the same at wireless of just around 100 megabits per second. And for me, this is pretty disappointing. I think that if you had less than 100 megabits per second internet, it probably wouldn't be so bad, but it would be interesting to see how flashing third-party firmware to the N600 would impact its performance. But I doubt it will make too much of a difference on the speed due to the hardware limitations of this router. But overall, I think that the Netgear N600 is a very solid buy for the cheapest gaming router on the market. You're basically getting all of the same software features of the Netgear Nighthawk router, but you're only paying one third of the price at just $50 on Amazon.com. And I can't really complain. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to leave a like rating on the video, comment down below and tell me what you guys think, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace!
got what was coming. 